okay so yeah so in this video we will be doing how to do multiple docking so how to do the multiple ligand docking with the help of uh, autodoc vena uh, by making the use of the files that we created in the previous session uh, in UCSF Chimera so today the files that we created in UCSF Chimera for protein we will be using it for performing multiple ligand docking uh, with the help of a script base okay so the first thing that we want to do is to prepare the system uh, the prepare this Linux system to be capable enough to do this multiple docking okay so for that I will first uh, let you install few files so you just go to github okay and uh, in this github what you need to do is you need to search for Dwipa ng. So as soon as you search over here, uh, you will see this screen, this box, and at the bottom of this box, you will see this. There is one user. Okay. So you click on that user, and so here it is now. So on this page, there is this file which says multiple ligand docking. I will also be sharing the link in the description for the same thing. So first thing that you can do is that uh, over here on the green button, you just press it once, and you can download the zip file okay so uh, it is a very small file so you just see total 2.3 kbs so I will just open this it has been downloaded in the downloads folder so now the first thing uh, is that you have to extract this folder and I will extract this folder onto the desktop okay so I will just select home and desktop and you just keep it over here and extract it okay close I will close this close this as well close this downloads folders as well uh, and close this tab as well okay so now we have a new folder if you just see over here as multiple ligand docking with the help of Vena and before I go into this there is one thing that I want to do uh, is that to use the files that we have created earlier in the earlier tutorial video uh, where we did docking with the help of UCSF Chimera uh, so for that I will first of all open a new folder okay and I will just write the name of the protein that, that is 6 cm4 and then I will name it as multiple multiple ligand docking okay so I have created this file so what I need to do is that first I will open the old folder from the previous tutorials okay and uh, I will open any of this uh, ligand folder a uh, close up pine or resperidone anyone okay so first of all uh, anyone you can choose because both of them will have the that file so close up pine I will open and uh, this is the file that I am looking for which says uh, docking.receptor.pdbqt okay so the same file you can open uh, you can find it in the resperidon as well so you can take any one of those so it, it says docking.receptor.pdbqt I will just copy it with the help of control C go back to the desktop and in this multiple ligand uh, sorry in this folder 6cm4 which is an empty folder right now I will paste that file okay and I will make sure that I will rename this file I will rename this file as simply receptor.pdbqt I will remove the docking word from it and I will re uh, rename it as receptor.pdbqt so this is the first thing that is done okay so once we have kept our uh, receptor.pdbqt file from the previous docking session from UCSF Chimera uh, what we will do is we will also put few ligands over here okay so for ligands uh, I will just go to uh, popchem and let us just go for resperidone okay uh, res okay so resperidone is the one which I will choose from here 
uh, and I don't know why it's taking a lot of time but yeah uh, this is the ligand so first of all you just copy the name of the ligand so you remember what it is and then you download it and you click on the save button okay so just go to this place in the downloads and this is the ligand that you have downloaded and just rename it okay so you just rename it as Resperidon so Resperidon is one and I will just save it as the name Resperidon so from here I will just copy this file or cut this file and I will paste it into the folder over here okay which is a working folder on the desktop so let me just close it and open it once again so yeah this is the folder that I'm talking about so this is the first ligand that I have kept okay uh, and now let us find for the another ligands okay so the protein that we are working is is D2 dopamine receptor so we will find D2 dopamine inhibitors okay so the first one is say uh, this are uh, there are few names uh, okay so, and from here you will just randomly take few ligands now for for uh, your study this can be any ligand you can download any any ligand any phytochemical any uh, prepared structure but make sure it has to be in the SDF format okay so just for now uh, I will just uh, select Tia pride so Tia pride is the first one uh, is the second one probably I will say so Tia pride uh, I will just go okay I will just as as I did earlier I will save it make sure you to save it in the SDF format so as soon as you save it uh, you see the CID number is five four six seven it is saved and the pubchem CID number of this uh, TF pride is also 5467 okay so I will just open it once again uh, so I will just open the download folder and I will just rename this file I will just rename this and from here I will cut this file and I will put it into the working folder which is this one so you already open over here so just paste it okay so now we have two ligands and the receptor.pdbqt file from the previous session let us take one or two ligands more um, so we can take uh, we can also take this ralco pride so I will just take this ralco pride just copy the name I'll just paste it over here. Ralco Pride. I will. So as soon as this Ralco Pride is getting open, I will download it. Again, I will take the SDF file. Yeah. So this is the one. I will rename it first. So we have this alco pride again I will cut it from here close the download folder minimize this and put it into the um, working folder okay so we have now three ligands and we will take two more okay so what can be the another one let us take from we'll take as a perion so we'll take as a perion so as a peron we'll search for as a peron okay this is one five four four three as a peron I'll copy this name and I will download it and save it so as soon as I will open this folder and this is um, rename it as as a peron okay as a peron as a peron I will just copy it and now I'll close the download folder and I will 
just open a working folder and I will just paste it over there. So we have one, two, three, four, four ligands and we will take one last one uh, in the same way. So we can take this one as well. Uh, okay, we will take uh, dropper dual dropper doll so we will take this I don't know how to pronounce this name but yeah draw peridol so it is draw peridol so we'll open this draw peridol and we'll copy the name draw peridol control C save it okay make sure that the last entry that is the first one over here matches the PID over here this one 3168 so I will just open it once again then rename it and I will just draw peridol okay so I have renamed it so now I have uh, if I can say I have over here if you just see carefully I have one two three four five ligands and the entry of a receptor so these are the things that we have and we want to do the docking of all these molecules as a multiple docking uh, so the first thing uh, we need to prepare our computer to do that okay so you just uh, so the folder that we have just downloaded from github it is over here so you just open that folder the first thing that you need to do from this folder is to copy these two files conf file and uh, vina linux.pl so this is a Perl script so you copy these two files okay and paste it into the folder okay so you paste it over here so you have this configuration file and then you have this vina.pl file okay so now the next step that we need to do is to modify the configuration file okay uh, so here we need to keep the uh, coordinates of the grid box that we have created in the previous session for the same protein so if you are working with some other protein you have to create a new grid box and put the dimensions of the grid box over here okay so we have already done it previously so I will open that file where we have previously uh, created the uh, grid box and the dimensions were noted down so that was done in this folder so I will open it uh, inside the protein files and over here there is a file that we have created just go to my first video uh, that is coordinates file so we have a coordinates file over here and the conf file over here so we have to just copy these numbers so this is x so this is we just do x axis so we put it over here so we'll just control V and then the second is this one control C and then you put it into the conf like this and this is for Z coordinate okay so these are the location of the the center point of the grid box and now we have to give the sizes okay so size we have already mentioned over here this is 21.4 so I will just copy this and I will paste it over here okay and then we have 20.62 I'll paste it over here 20.62 and the last one is 25.73 so paste all these sizes over here okay so this size is specific to the protein that we are using and the protein is 6 cm4 which is a d2 dopamine receptor then the next thing that you need to do over here is to make sure that here the first line has the entry suggesting receptor dot pdbqt and the same file has to be there in your working folder okay so the same file we already have it in the uh, uh, working folder I okay, will just save this uh, I will close the coordinates file and I will just keep this open for a while so I can show you something 
yeah so this is our working folder okay it is already open uh, so this is a working folder and in this folder we have to make sure that the receptor.pdbqt file has to be there so it is there so this text file that is conf text and the receptor.pdbqt file has to be in the same folder okay so once this is done we can close it so we have all the files ready uh, for docking the next thing that we need to do is to give some commands to the computer system so it can understand what we are trying to do okay so I will just minimize this folder for a while or I can simply close it okay so we'll close it our folder is ready for docking uh, I will just close this folder as well and there is one more folder open I will also close that folder as well okay so now you just go to this folder that we have downloaded from uh, github you just open it and there is the first file which says commands you just open it once okay so before performing anything else you first need to uh, run this commands to update your system and to make your libraries updated so what you can do is simply do control C I've already done it in my system but again for your sake I'm just repeating it again so just copy all these commands it will update the libraries of your Ubuntu so you just anywhere open a terminal right click and open the terminal you press control shift and V together so it will paste all the files over here and hit enter and give the uh, password for the system and hit enter so it will try to fetch all the data that it can I will have done it so it will not take much time so it has uh, tried to fetch everything that it could for you if your system is not updated for a pretty while then it can take uh, uh, some time depending on the internet speed as well okay so once this is done the next very important thing to do is to install uh, open babel uh, so open babel is something that we need to install as a next step so we'll copy and paste this command sudo apt install open babel and we will hit enter we already have this I already have this system uh, installed open babel in my computer so it is not taking much time it is already saying that it is there okay but for you it might have take a little while to install but not more than two or three minutes the next thing that we need to do is to install autodoc vena so you copy this command uh, and you paste it into a terminal and hit enter so it will uh, so your system once you have run all this command your system is ready to take on the task of multiple uh, docking multiple ligand docking yeah so now what you do is you open the folder where uh, we have kept all the ligand files uh, the receptor.pdbqt file and the configuration file that we updated a little while ago and the Perl script so we'll just uh, do something like this and I'll, so you can see your folders over here <laughs> sorry so now the next step is you just open the terminal specific in this folder so right click in the empty space and open in terminal you choose this option so you are opening a terminal in this uh, space I will just zoom a little so you can see it properly yeah so this is how your terminal looks like so make sure that we have your terminal open we have the terminal open in the working folder so the working folder is 6 cm4 multiple ligand docking so once this is done we have to copy and paste few commands directly from here it will be very easy task okay so I will just scroll down scroll down scroll down and the first command that comes over here is open babel to split the SDF file but in our case all the SDF files are already separate okay but in case if you download the entire library from some database which is consisting of a single SDF file containing multiple ligands so what you need to do is you need to split the that SDF file in such a way that one SDF file contains only one ligand but in our case what we have done is that we have already downloaded a single SDF file for a single ligand so we are not supposed to run this command and the necessary information is written over here on the top okay so you can read it uh, you can get this file uh, easily the next thing that we need to do is to 
do the optimization and the minimization of the leak end. So the command that we need to use is ob minimize. So we'll just copy it and paste it into the working folder and hit enter. So now it is telling me that we can do uh, minimization of the ligands by multiple force field like GAFF, uh, uh, GEMICAL, MMFF94. So, so whatever you want to do, you can choose any one of these. So how you can choose it? Okay. In our case, we are choosing uh, OB minimize minus FF and the force field is MFF94. So that is the force field that we will be working with. Okay, so I will just paste the command over here. Okay, so I have pasted the command. So if you want to change the force field, you simply change it over here. So like GAFF, so you can just put GAFF over here, no problem. Or you can put like this. Okay, whatever name you find appropriate for your ligands, you put it. For me, I feel that mm ff94 is the best one so i will just keep the default command and i will hit enter so what it has done it has minimized all the ligands okay so uh, the data of minimization will be shown over here on the screen in the terminal itself so once you get this kind of a screen it means that the command is appropriately been um, run now the next command that we need to do is to convert the SDF file into PDBQT file. Okay, so as soon as we uh, use this command, all the SDF file that you see on the right hand side in the folder will be getting converted into the PDBQT file. So just keep an eye on the right hand side of the folder. As soon as I hit enter, you will see the files that were uh, uh, SDF are now converted into PDBQT as well. So now each ligand there will be two entries one for SDF file and another for PDBQT. So you select all the SDF file and remove it from here. Okay, so for your ease what you can do is you can simply um, Is there any has we left anything so you can just cut it from your control X make a new folder uh, over here and you just name it as SDF ligands okay because you can preserve these ligands if you don't want to preserve this you can also delete it no problem but we have preserved it in this folder okay so now make sure that all the ligands are in the PDBQT format so one two three four and five all the five ligands that we had downloaded are now converted into PDBQT format so that is something that we have done so the next thing that we need to do is to convert the data which is there in this folder into a notepad file or the text file so for that we will use a command which says ls ligand into text uh, so you just paste the command it is ls we'll just make a, make it little like this okay uh, you can see it okay so you just hit enter so now what you see is a text file is being created in the working directory okay so where is the text file uh, that is ligand.txt this is the file that is being created by the last command that is uh, uh, ls greater than symbol and into the text file yeah so okay so you just open this text file and remove the unwanted items which are there you make sure that the items that are just listed inside this file should only be the ligand pdbqt names so only ligand pdbqt names should be uh, there so we have done this so we are removing all the unwanted entries like this you can manually also create this file by typing uh, the name of each PDBQT ligand name over here and saving it as ligand.txt that is also fine so we will just save this file make sure that there are four file ligands there has to be only five lines okay so five lines five ligands okay hundred ligands if you have hundred lines that's it no extra lines nothing and just save it 
okay so we have uh, saved the ligand text file like this okay so everything going uh, well so far let's zoom it a little uh, okay okay so now uh, what we need to do is to run the next command okay so where is the I have closed the text file I'm so sorry so you open this and this file is already open and commands okay so commands are there okay so we have um, reach up to this point okay so the now the next thing is uh, to run this Perl script which says Perl underscore uh, Linux dot PL okay but now I am 100% sure that there is going to be an error why because the latest version of Autodog Vina is not running this script I will tell you how to do the troubleshooting but anyways we'll just run the command and then it is asking for the ligand file name so ligand file name is what it is ligand dot text or ligand dot text that we just created so you write L I G A N D dot T X T so just press enter so now it is showing that there is some error it is not running okay so what is the error just crawl up and just below the command just go till the point where you can search for the command okay uh, this is the error the command line error phrase unrecognizable option minus minus log okay so this is the error that will come definitely it will come so what you do is for that you have to open the Perl script okay so now if you are running the older version of Autodoc Vina then probably you will not get this error okay so you open this Perl script file and you remove the last part of this code okay so minus minus log and thereafter you just delete it make sure you have this uh, uh, brackets and everything else as it is you just save it once okay save it close the file and wait for few seconds okay we'll just uh, wait for few seconds also for now we can uh, just wait and then we will run the command once again and we will type the same like and name again and you see the docking process has started so whenever you are doing this step properly something like this will be coming onto your screen okay and as the docking has been done okay it will tell you how it is performing depending on the computer depending on the processor it will uh, run as soon as the docking is keep getting done one after the another it will start producing the out.pdbqt files so uh, out.pdbqt file out.pdbqt file so uh, once all the docking is done for five ligands there will be five out.pdbqt file okay so we will wait for I think this is the fourth one and then this is the fifth one okay so as soon as all the docking is done you will get this uh, dollar symbol once again now as we have removed one of the small command from the Perl script okay the last command that we need will not work over here so we have to manually do it okay so it is not going to develop the result table on its own but one thing that is something that we can do is that you just open the terminal okay and from the first first this thing you can copy the entire thing okay and you can just uh, copy the whole thing and you, have, you can paste it into the notepad file okay so just copy it just go to the folder that we are working 
यू कैन ओपन अ टर्मिनल हो गया एंड सिंपली राइट जी ई डी आई टी जी एडिट इज ऑलरेडी ओपन ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू इज विल सो दिस इज द फोल्डर दिस इज द फाइल अन टाइटल डॉक्यूमेंट सो यू पेस्ट इट ओवर यर सो नाव दिस इज योर रिजल्ट टेबल दैट वी हैव सीन सो यू जस्ट जूम अ लिटल आई विल क्लोज द कमांड्स बिकॉज ऑल द कमांड्स आर डन क्लोज द कमांड फाइल एंड नाव आई विल सेव इट एज दी ऑन द डेस्क टॉप इन द वर्किंग डिरेक्टरी आई विल सेव इट एज रिजल्ट ओके सो आई विल सेव इट एज रिजल्ट सो नाव यू कैन सी विच लाइक एंड हैज द मैक्सिमम डॉकिंग स्कोर सो इफ यू जस्ट स्क्रॉल डाउन अ बिट ओके सो फॉर द फर्स्ट लाइक एंड इट इज एज अ प्रॉन सो फॉर एज अ प्रॉन द डॉकिंग स्कोर बेस्ट डॉकिंग स्कोर इज माइनस नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स देन यू जस्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन ओके नाउ आफ्टर दिस बॉक्स द नेक्स्ट लाइक एंड इज ड्रॉपर डिओल ड्रॉपर डिओल ओके इट हैज द डॉकिंग स्कोर ऑफ माइनस टेन पॉइंट एट देन द नेक्स्ट वन हैज द माइनस सेवन सो इफ यू जस्ट क्रॉल डाउन एंड यू इफ यू कैन सी द बेस्ट डॉकिंग स्कोर दैट वी हैव ऑब्जर्व सो फार इज दिस माइनस इलेवन पॉइंट नाइन टू ओके एंड इट इज फॉर द लाइक एंड रेस्पेरिडॉन सो रेस्पेरिडॉन इज द लाइक एंड दैट यू सी ओवर योर which is the native ligand or which is the published ligand for specific to this receptor okay resperidone has the maximum docking score and if you just see tiapride probably it has the minimum score uh, i guess yeah tiapride has the minimum score okay so this is how you can analyze the uh, data that you got the next thing that we need to do is uh, how to visualize this docking output okay so we can do the same old thing once again what we can do is first of all we can uh, just open chimera so once you open just open chimera you go to files and you go to open and on to the desktop there is the old folder that we have used in the previous video that is 6cm4 inside this folder there is another folder which says a protein files okay so there are files of this protein you open the naked protein okay so you will we will open the naked protein like this so we have opened the naked proteins and we can open any one of this output uh, files okay uh, which is over here okay so we can open any of the file which has this out.pdbqt format okay out.pdbqt okay so there has to be a suffix Uh, out after the ligand name dot pdbqt file is something that we have to open so for that you go to tools you go to surface binding analysis just move your cursor hover it over and just go to uh, the option which says view doc so we just go to view doc now you just go back and you go to this 6cm4 multiple docking You just go to this folder and you open any of the file which has out dot pdb qt okay so uh, for now we will just open this as a prawn so this is the first one so i will just open it and i will just open as soon as we open we can also see the docking scores over here as well okay so it is 9.681 okay so you can also see the scores from the result table that we have created a few seconds back Uh, so here it is here is the ligand okay so this is the first ligand so this is if you just open it it is as a prawn over here on to the same ligand you can open the another ligand as well so on this only we will uh, open another ligand which 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 should open resperidone we will open resperidone on to this so again you can go to tools again you can go to surface binding analysis and again you can go to view doc okay and then you can open resperidone resperidone file with the suffix out dot pdbqt so just open it so just open it over here 
and if you just see the docking score resperidone is minus 11.95 docking score okay so this is resperidone and if you just full screen this chimera for now and you just assume you can see how properly they have aligned into the uh, active site of the protein okay so you have superimposed two docked poses onto the two best dock poses of two different ligands in the active site okay i will also show you how how you can uh, save this okay so uh, you just need to remember the order in which you have opened the pdbqt file the first file that you have opened is uh, azaparon okay so the first ligand is azaparon and the second ligand is resperidone okay so you just go to this file save pdb okay and you just give the uh, ligand docked 6 cm4 okay so there are two ligands so two ligand uh, superimposed okay so two ligand superimposed which are the two ligands the first one is azaparon and the second is resperidone okay so I'll just show you how you can exactly do it so now you first of all you just select the naked protein press control button and select 1.1 so 1.1 is the first pose of the first ligand okay so that is as a pair on uh, scroll down press control and then you can select 2.1 this is that is resperidone okay so you have three items selected in this uh, entire list naked protein 1.1 is as a pair on and 2.1 is resperidone okay so all these three are there collectively selected you change this model save multiple files and just click it once and make it a single file okay as soon as it becomes a single file you just make sure where you are saving it you are saving it into the folder which says 6 cm for multiple ligand docking so I will just go over here and just save it so I have saved it so this in this way with two ligands superimposed we have saved the uh, file okay so this is how we can do the uh, multiple docking and save the files so let us just open once the file that we have saved and uh, so here it is docked 6 cm4 two ligand superimposed so this file we want to open so mm, you just simply go to chimera and go to files and then you open go to desktop go to multiple ligand docking and then you go to this one and you just simply open it okay so now if you can see uh, in the active site now you have two ligands okay it is up to your wish you can say one ligand at a time one ligand one pose at a time one ligand multiple pose at the same time you can superimpose all the different poses of a single ligand into the protein and then save it it is up to your choice up to your wish the way you want to represent it in your thesis in your paper so this is how you can uh, basically do it if the two structures are identical you can also say or you can also see that which identical moieties is occupying identical location in the active site like this way okay so i will end my session over here all the files you will get onto the uh, description link as well or you can also get it from the uh, github i hope this video is helpful to you and thank you for uh, being here and watching through the end thank you